Hi, this is John Prevetti with Black Horse Carriers. We're here today with uh, a brand new 28 foot trailer along with a 2016 Freightliner Cascadia. All common equipment for Black Horse Carriers, specifically spec'd out for General Motors application and our partnership between Black Horse and General Motors. All right, what we brought out for you guys here today is a, a 2016 Freightliner Cascadia. Um, it has a Detroit diesel 14.8 liter diesel engine with a 2.28 gear ratio on it, which what that means is every time the engine goes around 2.28 times, the tires go around one time. So regular configuration is 3.42. So with the rear end that we have spec back here and with the power plant that we have inside this, we get better fuel mileage because our engine is actually going around fewer times than a normal configuration. So that gives us great fuel mileage. So on the front of this tractor, what we have that most of you wouldn't notice would be right here. It's a radar system. So we put into our tractors what we want. We go anywhere from three to four seconds of a car traveling in front of us. So if we have a car that's traveling in front of us at 20% speed, less than what we're traveling, so we're gaining on that, we'll kick off the cruise control. Then the next step would be to engage the engine brake. And the final step would be to actually engage the brakes. So this, this is here to give us a warning and to take control if we're, we're approaching something too quickly. So we added uh, uh, the deer guard here because all the technology and all the equipment behind that deer guard gets a little pricey when we run into animals. So um, I've heard from the drivers that, that the truck being so light itself with the added deer guard actually gives us a better ride with a little bit of a weight in the front end. But we added the, the deer guard here. So the deer guard easily comes down. So we can open up the hood. Do we do we lock it? There we go. Hood comes open like that. Very very simple operation. So the drivers can do their proper pre trips. Um, one of the great things that we have at Black Horse is our drivers. They know. They have to do their pre-trips, they know the value of their truck, and they know that we can only take them so far, but it's up to them. Check the oil, check the coolant level, make sure the belts are good. And with the deer guard down and the hood up, they get easy access to our, our Detroit 14.8 liter engine. Oh, there you go, and, and you know, as, as a truck driver goes, I mean, they know where to, where to check their oil, they know how to check their coolant right here, but everything here is very out front and visible, all of our reservoirs where we need to check and maintain because if, if our engine is giving us problems, the first thing we need to do is the driver needs to tell us, then we have a full service lease contracts with Penske, Ryder, and they'll, they'll take in the trucks, either provide us with a sub or they'll, they'll go ahead and get it fixed and get us back out on the road. All right, then our, our creature comforts inside the trucks. This is a seat heater and a seat cooler. So I don't think we need to cool it too much in Michigan, but it's there if we need it. So a fan operates and uh, there's some coils in there that heat the, the seat. And what we found was the perfect body temperature actually helps the driver stay alert and awake. So that's, that's one of the, the safety plus comfort features that we added to the truck. So as we come up here, we'll show we have um, automatic transmission. So there's, there's no stick here, there's no clutch. These are our new generation two pedal trucks. So there's no more clutching, it's just gas and brake. Uh, what we put into these trucks are adaptive cruise control. The adaptive cruise control, what it does is when we're in the coast mode, it actually takes the RPMs down and it's almost as if you're pushing the clutch in. So it gives us a, a better opportunity for fuel mileage where we have fleets, um, we're getting high eights, you know, some, some, some cases we're getting close to nines and tens on our fuel mileage, you know, for instance, my, my fleet in Florida, very flat land, we're, we're getting very impressive fuel mileage and that has a lot to do with that adaptive cruise control. Um, our technologies inside the truck, over here we have, this is the, the lane assist. So what's going on here is there's a camera and it's going out into the road and it's reading the white line and it's reading the, the dotted line. So if you're to, to move over to the left, you get an alert on your left hand speaker. It goes brr, lets you know you're too far over to the left. If you were to drift over to the right, you get the same over on the right side, you get another 
alert over here in the speaker and it lets you know you're too far over to the right. So that's the lane assist and that helps us stay centered in our lane and stay traveling forward. Um, right here we have our drive cam. Uh, drive cam is there to assist, coach, and protect. It assists the drivers because sometimes they think they're driving just fine when there's a lot of things that we can coach them on. So we, we set our, our cameras for three to four seconds with the uh, um, radar in the front. It'll tell us if the driver is traveling at a, at a rate of speed that is too close to the car in front of it. It'll upload a video. We'll get 12 seconds reverse and eight seconds forward. We can review that video with the driver and we can say, hey, just slow down a little bit or say you're too close. Or, you know, say relax. All right. Um, then also we have situations where we get a guy says, oh, it came out of nowhere and, and it happens, you know, and we have that there to protect us. So if we're ever involved in a collision that is the driver swears up and down, it's not our fault. We go to the video and then we can see the video and we can defend our driver who's doing the right thing. Um, and then, then we use it to, to coach, right? So sometimes we get, the drivers hit a bump where they're not doing anything on the road that's supposed to bring a video up. And we'll notice that, you know, their, their seatbelt isn't, isn't exactly locked into place or something like that. We'll coach that. We'll, we'll make sure they understand that that's company policy. Those are the laws, you know, here, here's evidence. So we need to coach that and make sure that everybody is going home safely to their family at the end of the day. So, um, then we add this. This is something that comes standard now in our trucks, the CB radio. Uh, anybody who's ever driven professionally knows that this is a great tool for traffic conditions, um, backups, weather conditions, anything on the road. Hey, where's the closest truck stop? Things of that nature. This is a, certainly a tool to, a, to an over the road truck driver and even to a local truck driver out on the road. So we decided to add that in for the drivers. Right here, you have your XM Sirius satellite radio. This is added and paid for by the company. Every truck has, has an active radio. It, we cover so much land yeah. overnight. We don't need guys poking at the radio. We need them in, in, engaged, listening to the radio. Again, overnight drivers, it's very much a tool for the drivers to use right here in the XM. Also with these radios, they are Bluetooth enabled. So we would never expect a driver to ever, ever, ever have to pick up his phone. So we give them that technology inside their trucks. They make a phone call, the law says they're allowed to push one button, they can answer, and now they have their whole conversation come through their speakers. Okay, now the big diesel engine makes a lot of noise. So what Black Horse has done is we've over insulated the cab. So when we're inside our trucks and we're driving throughout the night, our trucks are very, very quiet. <clears throat> a lot more comfortable. You gotta remember these guys spend probably more time in their trucks than they do in their own house. So everything we do here, we do for the comfort of the driver. Then one of our features here is the computer logging system. This is the Qualcomm. Driver logs in, logs out of his truck. We can track the truck itself. We know where, where the truck is. We can track the driver. We can say, hey, you've been at that stop for too long. Maybe there's a medical issue. Maybe there's a problem. We know where he's at. Um, we can find the truck if there's ever um, a need to find it. We can use it to, to better route our drivers. When On paper, we say go here, here, and here, but we, we take the truck and we see where it went and he says, well, I do this because this order is, is better for mileage, it's better to serve the customer, then we can adjust our routes and see what's actually going out, real world scenarios. Uh, then we also offer a bonus program to every one of our drivers. It's based off of their, their driving habits, their fuel consumption, their safety, and all that data is collected right here in the Qualcomm. So um, about four or five years ago, you know, we had a big push to get the uh, computer logging systems into all of our trucks. And um, now we're, we're at 100% of our lease trucks have our Qualcomm system in it. So we're in compliance with the government, which will be the law to have the computer trucks, I think at the end of next year. So we're well ahead of that. Our drivers are trained. We know what we're doing. And um, actually the drivers prefer this now because there's, there's no question. And then Black Horse will not run illegal. And it's pretty simple if you do or you do not have ours. It, it's all right there. So um, oversized jump seat for the passengers. We don't generally have passengers, but whenever time there's a time for training 
or uh, a situation where we have a passenger's comfort is there also with um, the oversight storage underneath. So other than that, I think we went through everything that we put into the truck to help keep everybody comfortable and happy and proud to be a black horse driver. So what we what we brought out here today is a, a Maxon BMRW 4400 pound capacity lift gate. Uh, this is something that black horse has specced out specifically for the automotive industry. Uh, we have three different trailer sizes, 28 foot, 48 foot, and 53s. Those are pretty standard in the trucking industry. Um, what we brought out here today is a pup trailer. Uh, the pup trailers give us the ability to hook two trailers together. So when we get to that meet point, we can split and go two different directions and deliver the freight on time in two different directions. Uh, here, what you'll notice on this Maxon lift gate is everything from the size of the deck to the height of the cart stop is all specced out specifically with black horse carriers and the application that we use it for. So the deck is oversized to accommodate a cage that's five feet, 10 inches long. That's the, the largest size cage we have of any OEM that we do business with. And then the height of the stop plate here is specific to where the cages are, where the wheels of the cage are, so that the, the cages don't roll off. The operation is pretty simple. We have, bring it down from the stowed position, then we bring it out. Two buttons going toward the rear of the trailer and bring it down. This lift gate is equipped with a, a stop plate here that will hold up to three cages at a time. It has a locking latch here that will hold 2,500 pounds. And then in the rear we have blinking strobe lights that when in the up position on the dark overnight delivery gives us higher visibility as uh, oncoming traffic, people walking by, anything that would be in a, a car dealership in the nighttime that wouldn't expect a, a raised platform in the air. So here the, the columns are internal columns. Used to be the old lift gates were external columns where you'd bump the dock and you'd have to pull forward just enough to where you could let the lift gate down. So we did away with that and we have internal rail lifts so we bump the dock and we stay pinned against the dock, set our chocks, and then the, the lift gate will operate in the stowed position up and down while in the dock. At the rear of the trailer, we have uh, garage doors. Garage doors gives us the ability to bump, in dock, bump into a dock, open and close the door. So we go up, open the garage door. Then what you'll notice inside of the trailer is three sets of LED lights along with two floodlights that point to the platform and to the delivery area of the truck. So we make overnight deliveries. Sometimes we, the dealerships are, are very well lit to their inventory, but they're not very well lit to our delivery area. So we make sure that we have these floodlights and this rain guard here with an extra set of lights to, to point outside of the trailer so the delivery area is very well lit so we have no tripping hazards and nothing of that nature. Also, sometimes we deliver in less desirable neighborhoods, so it's important that we have a well-lit area to kind of keep that, that element away from us overnight. So inside the trailer, we make sure that we have plenty of light for the drivers because we're, we're handling labels, we're looking at small numbers and barcodes. It's important that the, the right dealership gets the right part. So everything here is specced out specifically for the automotive application. The walls of the trailer are laminated white. The white lamination creates more of an opportunity for the light to bounce off the walls and give us more light from those three sets of LEDs. The easy track that we use to secure the cages and the freight are specced out at specific heights. These heights are they're designed to, to have the strap go around the cages without touching the hinge of the cage. Because when we strap onto the hinge of the cage, we start cutting into our straps. And once we cut into the straps, we'll have cages that are free with other freight on the floor, creating more damage. So the height of the E-Track is outside the height of the hinges on your cages. It's also low enough to where we put the strap around the cage and hold it securely against the wall that we can see inside the window of the cage and we can tell what dealer this belongs to. The, easy uh, the ratchet straps go from same wall to same wall. We always go from 
this wall around the cage to the same wall. The reason why we do that is if we go wall to wall, we start to pull on the trailer and that, that um, pulls on the integrity of the structure. And we, we, you can actually collapse the trailer by doing that. Um, again, the white walls of the trailer. The bulkhead up here is, is what you would normally see, just to give a compare and contrast, what you would normally see on a regular trailer. But the white lamination is what's spec'd out for black horse carriers. So, come down here. Close it up. Latch it up, secure it. We have dual holes here so we can put a padlock in there, lock that, that door. Every time we park our trucks at Domus House, we always park at uh, a gated facility that has a video surveillance with our partners, Penske and Ryder. Um, we add that lock for added security because even though there should be no freight in there, there's always assets and returns and, and whatnot. There's still some kind of valuable pieces of equipment inside that trailer. From here we'll go down. Our kick plate down here. So we'll fold the, the lift gate up and stow it. So from here, the lift gate will fold. One of the added features to our lift gates is the run down position. Right here, we're on dock height. We have our brake lights illuminated on the columns. From this position, we can run in the down position legally and we can move on to our next delivery. This is done if we have a lift gate malfunction. It doesn't take any electricity or any power to go down. It's a gravity down lift gate. So we can continue forward whenever we have a lift gate malfunction in the down position. Then we lift it up. When the lift gate gets all the way to the top of the columns, it'll lock itself in. It's locked in now, it'll prevent itself from unfolding during transit, and it also creates another barrier between a potential thief and what's inside that trailer. So now not only can he not get in the door because the padlock is on that door, but there's no access to the back of the trailer because the lift gate is blocking it. One of the options that Black Horse puts on all of their trailers is the auto inflate system. The auto inflate system is right here. There's an air compressor back here. It'll keep the, the tires inflated. We can have a hole in the tire up to the size of a dime and the auto inflate system will keep up with the tires themselves, keep them inflated and keep that driver moving forward. Uh, also what it does is it regulates pressure from one tire to the other. So it keeps our PSI at 110 per, pounds per square inch on each tire and it gives us better tire life out of our tires. Move on here to the power plant of our lift gate. One of the options in the specs that Black Horse Carriers puts on all their lift gates is very simple. We added a second pump. The second pump is there because it's a feature that will burn out and will break from time to time. It's very time consuming to get these things fixed. So what we do is we have two pumps, one of which is always in operation, one of which is backup. If one of them should happen to burn out, we flip over to the other pump. Now we're running on our auxiliary pump. We'll continue on to our night. We'll get that burnt out pump changed out, go back to having two. So there's never a reason for us to be broke down due to a trailer because we always have two pumps. We have the rundown capability. Okay, then over here is a simple feature. Just a set of car batteries. We charge this off of the, the two-way prong in the front of the trailer keeps our, our batteries charged. This is what operates the lift gate. We went away from the trail charger because through trial and error, that trail charger just wasn't the best option. It didn't provide us the best life. Something simple, just like this, is what gives us the best opportunity to keep our freight moving, keep moving forward. So. That's the operation of the Maxon BMRW 4,400 pound lift gate and how it's specced specifically for the automotive industry and for our application here to better serve General Motors.